Hello, welcome back. So the market has been doing terribly in the first few weeks of uh, 2022 and I have seen that multiple times. I have been investing in the stock market for like 10 years or so and I know that these things happen and uh, typically you get uh, when when there's a correction of that sort you get like a 15 to 20 percent down correction and then the market kind of starts uh, you know uh, fixing itself and uh, fixing its injuries and coming back to to normalcy but the thing is uh, during that time this is a fantastic buying opportunity and uh, myself i like to buy i really like to buy when the market stumble and i like uh, two years ago i think it was 2000 uh, i believe it was 2020 actually when there was a, a big drop in the stock market in which i bought a lot of stock and it has been doing tremendously well. Uh, that time I bought uh, Facebook for $150. But the thing is, uh, you know that uh, you have to, you know, you have to to know which kind of stocks are potential are potential target. Because uh, uh, even if the market goes down, we still don't want to be purchasing anything. We want to be buying this stock that has potential to go higher, and it it's backed up by good companies and fantastic financials. And if we can get it at a discount, uh, like now, uh, when everything is going down, uh, why not? I mean, that's even better. And so we will be examining Shopify today. And um, Shopify, a very, very well-known company, uh, a, a company that, that belongs in the tech sector, very well known for Shopify stores. I mean, a lot of uh, stores use Shopify and um, it's used by dropshippers. I mean, it's a, it's a massive company. With a massive valuation as well so let's uh, let's take a little bit of a look at the overview tab uh, which is gonna give us some information about the the stock and you will see here that the stock has actually dropped uh, it was like 1700 and it's dropped to 880 so it's dropped almost 50 percent which is a massive massive drop but still we want to know whether it's a good buy now even after the drop because just because something drops again we don't just uh, buy the stock just because it went down regardless of how, how far it went, uh, how far down it went. Now, the shares outstanding for the company, you will notice that there is a lot of dilution happening over here. So the company keeps issuing stock. I don't, I don't like that, of course. And you shouldn't either. So that's not a great thing. And the other very interesting thing is that the projected PE seems to be going much, much higher over here. And uh, I don't like to see that. That's not great. And um, this is a massive difference here. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming that the projected earnings are much much less than what uh, was happening in the previous years so that's not great to see over here now let's take a little bit of a closer look at the financials of the company and uh, we will as usual examine the income statement here and uh, the nice thing that you should like and i like of course as well with uh, shopify and this it, it happens a lot with tech companies is the growth uh, you'll see here that uh, there's a revenue there's revenue growth over here pretty substantial actually a lot of revenue growth and um, gross profit growth as well and so that i'm um, pretty sure is reflected in the net income as well and so you will see here uh, let me find it so net income uh, it's actually growing a lot so from minus 40 in 2017 to 3.5 billion so obviously e-commerce is a big thing growing and growing and growing and shopify is a, is a big company that's uh, basically doing this and so you would expect that balance it over here you will see that the total assets of the company also growing tremendously and the total equity of the of the company growing a lot as well let's take a look at the cash flow the as you see here yeah the net income of the company is basically pretty good in the last 12 months but previously it was doubtful it was okay i mean it was growing of course but it wasn't that great as it is in uh, the last 12 months so the last 12 months are looking much, much better. Now, this is the net income, of course, but the cash from operations is much lower than, uh, than that net income because of uh, other expenses. And uh, a lot of expenses in investing in market securities over here, uh, as you can see. And uh, quite a little bit of debt issued and issuance of common stock, like a lot of common stock. So the company has been diluting investors uh, massively. And this is something that I really don't like to see. I really, really hate that especially in that uh, in those levels that's a, that's a lot of dilution and uh, if people don't understand what the, what the consequences of this is 
they could be thinking that uh, this is a good thing, but it's a horrible thing. Because uh, um, when, when this happens, the company now uh, distributes more shares. So your shares are actually worth less because there is more of those in the open market. So the company seems to be issuing more and more shares. And so that's, uh, that's a very, very uh, bad thing, generally speaking, for investors. I, I would hate that if I, were in, if I was an investor in Shopify. And uh, free cash flow here uh, growing as well. So uh, it's, uh, I'm assuming it's going to continue growing at about uh, the same rate, maybe. Maybe it's like $600 million or so next 12 months. We'll see. But uh, overall, a free cash flow, if you, you could potentially exclude these three years and say that the average cash flow right now is maybe like $300 million. Now, the thing is, if the average cash flow of the company is $300 million and the market cap is $110 billion, I mean, can you imagine what kind of multiple that is? That's an insane multiple over here. It's probably something of that sort, if not more. And um, this is insane. I mean, even if you give it a multiple of 20, let's, let's actually say, let's, uh, let's imagine that the company is making a billion dollars on average every year, which is much, uh, much higher than what they're making right now. If you give it a multiple of 20, that would be 20, 20 billion. And the market cap is 110 billion. So it's... It's almost six times more in an imaginative scenario where uh, Shopify is actually making a billion dollars on average every, every year in cash flow. So the company right, right now is severely overvalued. It's not just overvalued, it's insanely overvalued. So yeah, that's not great. Solvency, yeah, debt to equity. I mean, with all that, uh, <laughs> with all that money that they got from issuing share stock, I mean, I'm pretty sure they have a lot of assets. So that makes, <laughs> that makes sense over here that they don't have any uh, trouble uh, with the debt, at least upcoming trouble with debt. So what would I do with Shopify? I'm not a buyer of Shopify uh, for many reasons. And uh, I understand uh, that growth is an important thing. And I think that uh, Shopify could grow over the years and could grow over the years. But right now, Shopify is trading at a valuation that's insane. Like I, I cannot, I cannot uh, like for, for anything back an in investment with a PE that's uh, like uh, 143, like a forward PE of 143, when the uh, multiple of the free cash flow is more than, I don't even know. I mean, uh, it's insane. I mean, we, we just talked about it a little bit earlier. It's it's uh, like 60 or, or more actually. So yeah, that, that, that is absolutely insane. I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to invest in that. And um, I wouldn't recommend it. Now, I think, again, that there's going to be growth for, for Shopify. But um, if I could get Shopify at, like, I don't know, like $100, that would be okay. But at $800, I mean, how, how far would we, we, we have to go? If we, if we do a discounted flow, cash flow model, I'm pretty sure it, it would have surpassed that uh, by a lot, to tell you the truth. So this is something that I'm actually working on. I'm actually creating software to do that for, for you so that I can actually uh, talk about it in my videos and also give you access so that you can do it for your own sake. Hope you liked the video. If you did like it, please leave a like and subscribe because that helps a lot. And um, you may want to take a look at uh, the Discord channel that I have created and you can come over and we can, we can chat about all sorts of, uh, of things uh, about the stock market and different sorts of investments. You can find the link below in the description and uh, it's a very very new discord channel so hopefully we're gonna get uh, a few people and start uh, having our discussions about uh, investments which uh, is a topic that i absolutely enjoy talking about so thank you for watching this and i'll see you in the next video very very soon next one i'm gonna be talking about uh, the stock market and the current crash situation tell you a few things about uh, stock market history and what happens with these kinds of corrections so thanks a lot and i'll see you in the next video bye bye